guys, I'm Abby Lyons and I'm going to show you how to play Tomorrow from Annie. If you would like the lead sheet, come join us over on Patreon. You can download it there. And also, thank you to Enya for sponsoring this video. If you want a nice intermediate ukulele, this is a great option. So first we're going to learn the chords. There's a whole bunch of them and they're all down here. If you already know them, then feel free to skip ahead. Our first chord is C. You're going to put your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and here's C. Then our second chord is C major 7. You're going to put your second finger on the second fret of the first string. Here's C major 7. Then we have F sus 2, which is the first finger on the first fret of the second string. Here's F sus 2. Then we have G. You'll put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Here's G. Next we have A minor. You'll put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and here's A minor. Then we have A minor 7, which is actually all of the open strings. It sounds like this. Then we have C minor. You'll put your first finger on the third fret of the third string, second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the third fret of the first string. Here's C minor. Then we have E flat. You're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the first string, second finger on the third fret of the third string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Here's E flat. Then we have A flat 7, which is like the G chord shape, but you push it up by one fret. So that's first finger, third fret of the third string, second finger, third fret of the first string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the second string. Here's A flat 7. Then we have B flat 6. You'll put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the first fret of the first string, and your third finger on the second fret of the third string. Here's B flat 6. So you can also, if you prefer, bar the, the two notes that are on the first fret and use your second finger on the second fret of the third string. So there's B flat 6 again. <laughs> then we have G minor. You'll put your first finger on the first fret of the first string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your pinky on the third fret of the second string. Here's G minor. Then our next chord is G7 sus4, which is kind of like a G minor backwards in a way. So you have your first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your pinky on the third fret of the first string. So that's G7 sus4. Then we have G7, plain old G7, so that's the first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the first string. Here's G7. And then our very last chord is C7. You'll put your first finger on the first fret of the first string. Here's C7. So those are all the chords. <laughs> For the strumming pattern, we're going to be doing two down strums on each chord that you see. So let's learn how to play the chorus now. So for the chorus, our chord progression is C, C major 7, F sus 2, G, then A minor, A minor 7, F sus 2 and 
and G. So we'll do two strums per chord, like this. C, C major 7, F sus 2, G, then A minor, A minor 7, F sus 2, and G. So that whole, that whole chord progression is going to be played two times for the first chorus. So here's what it sounds like with the words. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none. So that's the first chorus. Also, you might, if you're like me with my vocal register, you might want to have this a couple steps higher. So if you have a capo, recommend putting it on that second or third fret. So now let's learn how to play the bridge. We have a whole bunch of new chords in this section. Our chord progression is C minor, then E flat, A flat 7, and B flat 6. Then E flat, G minor, then two times on G7 sus4, and two times on G7. So here it is with the words. When I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely, I just think my chin and grin and say, oh. So that's the bridge. Now we're going to learn how to play the second chorus. The first part is pretty similar to the first chorus. We have C, then C major 7, F sus 2. G, then A minor, and A minor 7. So that's all the same so far as the first chorus. Then we're going to go to G7 sus4, and then G7. Then the next part, we have C, C major 7, C7, and F sus2. Then C, G7, and C. So here it is now with the strumming pattern and with the words. The sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. we have the little post chorus which is also pretty similar to what we've just seen we have a pickup with g7 sus4 then we go to c c major 7 c7 f sus2 and then we're going to do two times on c then once on g7 sus4 then g7 and then we end on c so here's that last bit with the strumming pattern and the words. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. 
So that's how you play tomorrow from Annie. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're interested in a nice ukulele, I highly recommend this one from Enya. There is more info about it in the description below. Also, if you'd like those lead sheets to all of my tutorials, there's a link to Patreon up above. It's a great way to support this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again really soon for another video. Bye! Hehehe <laughs>